Have you ever wondered why funding for certain research grants gets blocked without any credible explanation? In this video, we discuss how trust in the Australian Research Council has been dramatically eroded due to the controversial grant decisions made by former coalition ministers. The first comprehensive review of the ARC in 22 years, led by Professor Margaret Scheil, was recently released. The review found that since 2001, at least six interventions have been made by four education ministers, withholding approval for grants recommended by the ARC chief executive. To make matters worse, the rationale of these interventions was reportedly a lack of trust in the peer review process on the part of the Minister of the Day creating a spiral that reflects on trust in the ERC itself by other stakeholders, according to the review. The review recommends that individual National Competitive Grants Program NCGP, projects should not require approvals by the Minister, with decisions left to the ARC since they are best placed to judge the intrinsic merit of the proposals and only allowing the ministers to intervene in the extraordinary circumstance of a potential threat to national security. The review has been welcomed by Universities Australia and Science and Technology Australia and has created an opportunity to right the wrongs of past interventions with stronger guardrails to prevent future political interference. With the review's recommendation to adopt more streamlined processes including two-stage application processes where possible, this can free up researchers who currently spend hundreds of hours writing full funding applications, when only around one in five of those applications get funded. The same recommendation states that the minister should have wider discretion to direct funding outside the NCGP in order to advance the government's strategic research objectives. The trade-off for this, as set out in the review, is transparency and parliamentary oversight which can help ensure that the trust in the Australian Research Council is getting restored. Though a Senate inquiry in 2022 rejected a Greens bill that proposed to strip the Education Minister of the power to block grants, the review has been acknowledged by Education Minister Jason Clare and he vowed to consider the findings and respond in due course. In this video, we discuss this topic in more detail and answer questions such as, when did the first interventions take place? What kind of strategic research objectives do the ministers propose to direct funding to? What is the review's proposed trade-off for allowing the ministers to intervene? What steps can be taken to restore trust in the ERC? Stay tuned to find out more.